So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel. And in today's episode, we are going to design this nice, beautiful church flyer in which I call it spiritual checkup and medication. Yes, it's a spiritual checkup and medication. It's a church flyer. So please, if this seems to be interesting to you, kindly stick around. Let's go through the tutorial step by step. And then I have all the resources files that I use for the design. I have all of them here, including the free PSD file. So please, if you want it, you know where to get it and you know how to get it as well. So please um, watch the video from beginning to the end and get the password and then use it to extract all the resources file and the PSD file and then use them for free. So without wasting much time, control N to open a new document. All right, so this is a control N to open a new document and then it's here. We are going to use a customized size, which the, the um, sorry, the width is 2000 and then the height is also 2000, resolution is 300. Then we are going to type the name. I have typed everything over here in order to let the work to be so simple and easy for me. So I'll just copy the, the, the title and then come and paste it here. So spiritual checkup and medication flyer. Good. So everything is okay. Um, as I said, and um, weight is 2000, height is what 2000, resolution 300. Here is pixel per inch, RGB, um, uh, color mode, RGB, and then white background. And everything is okay, so click on create. Then you have nice background like this with me. We are going to start working on the background. And then, as I've already told you before, that graphic design covers four key areas. Four key areas. The first one is what? working with the background, second one with working with the font or text, third one is working with the image, and then the fourth one is what? Adding beauty to the whole design. Yes, so please, we are going to start working with the background. So I have this resources here. I'll drag this and then drop it. Nice abstract background in which I had it online. So I drag it into Photoshop and then release it like this. All right, so now it's released nicely like this. We have it here. I hold shift and then, and then, Pull here up to cover the screen and then pull here to, to cover the down. Good. And then I'll press Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then the up one, I'll just go to this um, blending option and set it to multiply. Yeah, I set it to multiply. And then I'll add some, I'll go to this side and then go and add some curves to it. Yes, we need to add some curves to it. So this is nice. And then I'll go to curves. And then I add some curves to it. So with the curves, I'll just push this down here. Yes, to make it look some way black inside. Good, good, good. So I'll just close it. And then let's see before and after. Before and after. Good. Okay, so as I've done that nicely, we saw the before and after and everything is okay. So I'll put everything in the group and then control G and then call it the background. All right, so all this thing becomes our background. Now let's go and work with the text. Yes, let's go and work with the text. So I have this over here, spiritual control C to copy it. And then come and hit here T on the keyboard and then paste it, control V. Yeah, control V to paste it and then press enter. Now the font we are going to use is called a wicked mouse. Yes, it's a wicked mouse font. And then just, if you don't have it, just go to your internet and then just download wicked mouse fonts yeah wicked mouse fonts so i'll set here to something like 20 and see if if 20 is okay for me then let me set a guide go to view go to guide and then go to new guy layout and then you set here to 66 six and everything is okay so you are going to make sure that our design doesn't go overboard that is the purpose of sorry the purpose of setting the guides we make sure everything will be in line so I'll just duplicate this using Ctrl J or you drag it down and then I'll come and copy the checkup Ctrl C to copy it. Double click Ctrl V to paste it and then hold Ctrl T and scale it up. Scale it up. It should be bigger than the spiritual. Then drag this down again using the same approach either Ctrl G to duplicate it or you drag it down Ctrl V to paste it and then let's reduce it down let's reduce it down 
good good something like this is nice something like this is nice and then we gave it a gradient overlay yes we gave it a gradient overlay so i'll go to my fx and then go to gradient overlay yeah go to gradient overlay and then all right all right all right all right all right let's see let's see let's see let's see so i'll just add this one and then i'll go to this and i'm sure this is the gradient we use yes this is the gradient we use so i'll click on ok if you want to use the same gradient let me open it here for you to know it's fd3100 fd3100 that is this side and then you go to this side to also go and check fc8027 fc8027 so that is it and then let's see more let's see more check it on reverse and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome okay and then come here and come and copy the layer style so you see copy layer style and then come to the checkup one right click and then paste layer style now it's been applied then right click again and paste layer style so you see it's been applied on the text yes it's been applied on the text it's been applied now let's go to this side the rectangle to right click it and pick the ellipse tool and then hold shift to draw a nice ellipse like this nicely like that nicely like that nicely like that and then the color code is okay yeah the color code is okay so i'll bring it here and then go and copy the end ctrl c to copy it t on the keyboard hit here ctrl v to paste it and now it's not showing because the wicked mount font doesn't allow that so i'll come to this and set uh, the the font to until s yes until s until s and then let me center and align the text and the ellipse i've created good and then let me change it to something like a different color compared to this and i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome all right all right all right all right so let me reduce the ellipse size let me reduce it let me reduce it and this is awesome 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 so i think we need to put this and this in a group control g and then call it theme all right all right so theme is set now let's go and bring one more I think we didn't bring the church logo so drag this and then put it on top okay and then pick it and push it up like this and that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome Control a and then let's center it it's at the center already so Control j again and put it in a group and then call it logo all right so we meaning we are done with the logo we are done with theme we are done with the background so then the game is we are going to add the image yes let's add image so i have them here guys i have them here drag it and then release it boom nicely like this awesome 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 reduce the size select both of them and reduce the size now i'll push it down i'll push it down and then come and select this and push it to this side select this and push it to this side just to break them apart a bit and let them be in the video while you set it up good 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 so as we said we are going to make sure that the design doesn't go overboard so it's a four at the center so you see this line and this sign so this line is also this line so at least everything is in order everything is in order now yeah everything is in order now and then we are going to bring their names yeah we are going to bring their names so with ctrl c Okay, let me go and copy with Ctrl C, uh, T on the keyboard, hit here, Ctrl V to paste it. And then the font we use for the width is called Taken by Watches. Yes, Taken by Watches. And then let's set the size to, let's see, 40, if it will be okay. And I think 40 is okay. And then you copy the rest of the name, which is Esther Smith. And then T again on the keyboard, hit here, sorry, hit here control v to paste it and we use a font let's go and check if we have it here we use a font a font where are you where are you where are you where are you and i think we use this font yes until as font yes that is the font we use and we pick a color from where 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 something like this yeah it's very very closer to this very very closer to this and we have to reduce the size to something like 20 and see good and then close the leading 
close the lighting up, close the lighting up, close the lighting up, just and I think this is awesome. So we need on the keyboard and push it to this side. Awesome, awesome. Use use the arrow to adjust it well. Good, 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 good. So let me duplicate this use auth. I'll select both of them, duplicate it and then push it here. And then I'll go and duplicate inside the name that is the Esther Smith. I'll double uh, select it and then come and copy PC Esther and then control V to paste it. Good. Now I have the names and the images set. This should be P like this. Good, 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 good. Guys, how do you see it? 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 And everything is in order now. Everything is order now. So I'll put this and this in a group. Control G and then call it names and images. Names and then images. All right, all right. So because the image is already nice, because the images look nice, it looks sharp, it look awesome. That is why we are not applying camera raw to the images. If the image was could have been some way, somehow not good, we could have applied camera raw photo to it just to boost it up. But I think the image is okay. And then the rest of the details is we are adding the time and date. Yes, we are adding the time and date. So we hit here the text and then hit here. And we wrote what time is 10. Awesome, awesome. Then we push it at this side. Pick your ellipse to drag it this way using the same procedure. Using the same procedure. Don't forget. Then let's come and copy this november so it's 10th november and then type t on the keyboard and come and hit here bring it here no 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 on the ellipse on the ellipse on the ellipse on the ellipse so hit here good and then control v to paste it and we are going to change the font from taking by watches to something like maybe let's pick area yes and then we have to reduce the size to let's say 10 and see yeah awesome 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 control t and then let's rotate it this way rotate it this way let's rotate it this way good 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 so rotate it this way you see how we are running or we are rotating the text around the um, um, the ellipse or around the circle and let's close this and see awesome let's go and increase the 10 let's go and increase that the 10 to something like 20 oh it's already 20 so let's make it like 50 and see awesome 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 and then drag it sorry sorry okay okay so maybe you can put the 10 where are you let's bring it at the center here and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome I think we still have to increase it yeah we still have to increase it something like this and then select all those side control G sorry then let's see and I think this is okay yes this is okay this okay this okay this okay and then you can bring it down a bit yeah you can bring it down a bit and this is okay control G and then call it what the date and the uh, uh, time yes date date and uh, time so that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome so that is set nicely now we are going to work on the down details you don't right click on the um, um rectangle to sorry click on this side right click it and then come and pick rectangle to and then let's draw a nice rectangle beneath it like this and then you release it boom now we are going to pick the gradient overlay we copied from here Yes, I'm going to pick the gradient and right, don't forget it has been copied already. So we paste it and it's applied to it. Now we double click on this um, gradient overlay over here and then come to this. Sorry, 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 sorry. We come here and then come and pick something like a radar. No, let's come and pick angle and let's see. Let's come and pick linear and see. No, no, reverse should be off. Let's come back and pick this and change here to something like 90. And uh, let's see. No, 
all right all right all right so this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome you push it at the center now you come to radar and then set it to reverse and then change the angle to zero and then push the lightning path to the center and then this you see it over here so you see that the lightning is showing at the center whilst the darker side is showing at the edges that is exactly what we want so you click on it and then the rest of the details will follow such as your um, um the location i said upsc accra control c to copy it t on the keyboard come and hit anywhere here control v to paste it and then v to bring it back and then let's use this font and let's see um which one which one i think this font is okay balega font is okay then make it 20 and this is quite awesome this is quite awesome Control J to duplicate it and then come and copy this more location. Double click it. Control V to paste it. And that is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Reduce the size a bit. Yeah, reduce the size. It shouldn't be um, bigger or yeah, just and then let's go and increase this. Yeah. The main location must be visible. Yeah, the main location must be visible whilst the the beneath location should be uh, 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 something a little bit but don't forget don't worry that one to need to be visible yeah that one to need to be visible and then i think we can change some parts to be white or yeah we can change some parts to be white let's pick this color and see and that is awesome let's see the color from here and i'm sure let's zoom it in let's zoom it in and then go and pick this color boom and see okay so guys what do you see what do you see what do you see what do you see should we maintain this color or or we should change it a bit and i think this is okay yeah this is okay so let's zoom it out and then this is okay this is okay this is okay so rest rest of the details will follow for more info Control C to copy it and then drag this here. Control double click it, control V to paste it, and then let's reduce the size. Awesome, 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 awesome. And I think let's break them apart. So for more good. Let me duplicate it and then 0543680082. And then you can break that two apart just break them into it's a 10 digit number so let's break them into two good and then we separate it this way using this side to make it not too close yeah to make it not too close and I, i'm sure this thing you can even reduce the size down you can reduce the size down to something like 10 yeah 10 is awesome now 10 is awesome now and then it should go up whilst the contact detail tool must go up a bit and then we need to set this color from it should be something like white and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and then we are going to pick the live location yes we said it's going to be live and then the location or the social media handle is a key graphics yeah a key graphics a key graphics and do we have the location the live location icon here um we don't have it so we have this drag it that is the um, location the main location so reduce the size control h to hide the guys and then pick it and put it here nicely so you can even bring the live location that is if you have them over here or if you have it over here let me go and see if i have it here good I have it here so let me just copy it directly drag this and then come and paste it over here boom and now it's there it's there it's there it's there it's there it's there nicely it's there nicely so let's reduce the size let's reduce the size to very little and then we change the color to something like black yeah change the color to something black and that is it 
So all this thing is also in a group. All this thing in a group. And then control G to call it down details. Yes, and then call it down details. So this is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. And when we are done, we are not done yet. Once we are done, we are not done yet. Control it to bring the guys and see everything is in the line. Yeah, everything is in the line. This is the main line. This is in the main line. And it's only this that has crossed it, but it's even perfect. It's at the center. Yeah, it's at the center. So now everything is okay. Let's hold Alt Control. So now the for all the third part of the design that is working with the background, working with the font, working with images, all these things has been achieved. Now I left it to the last one, which is adding beauty. So in order to add the beauty, we are going to use camera roll. Press on Control Shift E. Sorry, sorry, Shift Control Alt and then E to merge everything. All this you are seeing, separate separate layers, has been merged to one layer. Right click it and then convert to smart objects. Now go to filter and then go to camera roll. We are going to use camera roll filter to boost the whole design up. We have to pass lab and under and, and, and plugs in plugins in which we have been using. But for the purpose of tutorial, this tutorial, we are using camera roll filter to boost the whole design up. So please subscribe to this channel, like, share, comment, and let me know how this channel is helping you. We have about 200 plus videos, 284 videos, and then the subscription level is 1.5. 11k now and guys we have been doing great we have been sharing free psd file and if you have not been part then it means you are losing a lot you are losing a lot in which you cannot afford to lose so please go back to this channel like watch and then just interact with my channel and then i have a great content in which you can learn and then practice from all these designs you are seeing here have free PSD files, half and um, um, resources file in which you can watch a lot of them and then um, 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 practice and then send it to me on my WhatsApp account or my Telegram account and let's discuss it from there. So the camera raw photo is ready. So let's experiment with what you have. Now I can push the temperature to this side and I'm beginning to like and then let me see tends, tends to also go to this side and guys I'm beginning to like. I want to see highlights so push highlight to this side and it's okay for me and then i want black so let me see okay black is okay let's see texture push the texture a bit and then clarity push the clarity to this guys everything is in front of you so experiment with what you have and then uh, let me check my vibrance vibrance should go to this side and i think it's okay and then let's see saturation saturation like this now is too much it's too much it's too much so if you boost and you realize it's too much just pretend back and let's see the before and after so assuming you are able to get go through all this and um, um, camera or photo and um, boosting and you are okay with it then check the before and after over here and if it's okay for you click on okay and then the effect is going to be applied on it let's see you see so before and after before and after so it means we have added beauty to the whole flyer so please guys this is how we're able to achieve this beautiful church flyer i call it spiritual checkup and medication yes spiritual checkup and medication please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let's take it from there i love you i'll see you in the next tutorial until then bye peace